Good day, viewers, and welcome to the program, Agriculture on the Move. My name is Philip Sidney. Today, with me are three distinguished guests. To my immediate right, we have the Ambassador of the Republic of China on Taiwan, the Ambassador Ray Mao. Welcome to the program, sir. Good morning. And of course, Mr. Sonny Shaw, my good, good friend over the years who have been in St. Lucia, who is the head of the Taiwanese technical team. Mr. Shaw, welcome to the program. Thank you. Good and morning. of course, Tim Shaw, who is new to St. Lucia, he is the project manager for the fruit and vegetable demonstration plots with the extension division. Welcome to the program, gentlemen. Good morning. Thank you. Ambassador, over the years, I can recall somewhere in the early 80s, um, Taiwan were in St. Lucia. The Taiwanese government gave assistance to the government of St. Lucia, specifically agriculture, and they were based in V4, in, in, in St. Lucia. Um, they, were, they worked along with the officers in the south, giving a lot of assistance to vegetables, especially they brought in some new varieties, some new hybrid of um, watermelon. I can, never, I can al always remember that because the, the, the colors were different. They were, they were, they were yellow in, 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 in color. That, that, is, that was the, the watermelon. And of course, they also assisted in the livestock sector over the years. And since then, they have been in St. Lucia giving a lot of assistance in various areas pertaining to agriculture. Tell me, um, what is your mission's policy when it comes to the implementation of those projects? Well, thank you for giving me the time to share with you my observation of the cooperations between St. Lucia and Taiwan. Mm -hmm. As you mentioned, the diplomatic relations started in the early 1980s. Mm -hmm. So that's a long-term friendship. And agriculture always plays a very important role in this uh, fixed, strong relationship between our two nations. Of course, the relations the cooperation cover other dimensions as well. Before I mention the agriculture more into details, I also like to share with you good news. As my government has just committed another five million US dollars for the CDP Constitution Development Program in 2016. So this uh, total amount of the five million US dollars will be quickly dispatched to your people and especially the workers of the uh, different constituencies Great. and for their family. Great. And that's a good thing to see every constituency, every community has its good development, road, the war, retaining war, and the drainage, etc. We want to guarantee that every child has a safe way home. Great. As to the agriculture, it's of equal importance. As you said, in the 80s, we start from the watermelons and other fruits and also stock uh, of the uh, food of the uh, animals, livestock. yes, stock, livestock, yes, sorry. And so all these things is a good beginning. But now, after so many years, our progress is in all dimensions. Now the, the products, as our have experts here today, will share with you more diversification. One thing we have, are going to do this year and for the next three years is the new project, the phase two of the fruit trees and vegetable demonstration and extension. So this is the new beginning of more diversification of the options of your agricultural development. Mm -hmm. So that's our government's policy, trying to make a good partnership for the progress and prosperity of St. Lucia, and also for the mutual benefit of a long-term partnership relations. Okay. What are the projects that you can go back and say that you all have really given us you know, some direct assistance in agriculture? Um, we are now working on four different subjects of cooperation. What, the first one, as I said, we have uh, now two experts, mm -hmm. Sunny and our yes, right. uh, expert. Mm -hmm. And the second one we have is for the plant tissue culture. Mm -hmm. It's a 
project been here for years, and this is already transferred to your government, and it's well kept, and still function very efficiently. And the third one is also a very successful program for the, the, over the past few years. That is the banana black saga toga yes. disease prevention and treatment. So this is a, a good model, not just for the neighboring countries, but also it's very well received by the global society now. Yes. WTO this year has a, a special a group discussion about the successful experience of Taiwan's uh, cooperation with St. Lucia in preventing the black saga toga disease. That's right. Yeah, so that's yeah. the second one. Mm -hmm. And also the third one, uh, the third one is the Black Sakatoga. Mm -hmm. And finally, we also have the Aquaculture Cooperation Project. It's also been conducted for years and will be transferred to your government at the end of this year. It's a good uh, way to keep the food safety and meet your demand of the people's uh, uh, nourishment and for the, uh, the farmers to yes. start the economic operations in this area. Definitely. Mr. Shaw, uh, as yeah. being the head of the technical team in St. Lucia, yeah. based on what the Ambassador just mentioned the various project. Can you give us a little more detail? Okay, so as for the fruit and vegetable demonstration and extension project, so uh, we have achieved the following uh, objectives uh, at the moment. The first one is that we have established four demonstration plots mm -hmm. and the nine compost houses to showcase the cultivation of new crops with the new adapted technology as well as to uh, demonstrate the use of organic compost and how to make those compost to improve solutions, uh, soil textures to conserve our environment. Okay. So secondly, extensive uh, training program has been conducted to train our farmers to improve their capacity on their production and marketing of their produce. Okay. So this uh, training program including the, uh, a lot of uh, field workshop and the farmer field school. So certainly uh, uh, almost 11 uh, members of uh, technic staff from the Ministry of Agriculture has been well trained to give better services in their extension and in their advisory assistance to the farmers. So uh, <clears throat> due to uh, this joint effort, the project has increased the production of uh, solutions, uh, uh, and fruit and vegetable, uh, in terms of its quantity, mm -hmm. as well as the qualities. So I think many many uh, small farmers uh, have been benefited uh, by this, this project. The secondly is uh, plant tissue culture project, which is to uh, use the state of the art plant tissue technology to uh, mass produce the important uh, crops uh, by the tissue culture uh, technology, uh, which uh, the plantlet will be very healthy, at the same time the cost will be lower than the traditional way. Mm -hmm. So the progress uh, have been achieved are, uh, in the first place, a modern plant tissue culture laboratory has been established at the union yeah, to produce the economically important crops such as uh, banana, uh, pineapple, uh, ornamental flowers and orchids and some uh, important uh, stable ground provision food uh, for solution. Secondly, a uh, full package of technology of uh, tissue culture uh, <coughs> technology for producing those uh, important uh, <coughs> crops have been established in Solution and uh, through the extension capacity building program has been transferred, those technology has been transferred to the local staff. So the local staff can efficiently uh, <coughs> operate uh, the laboratory in a sustainable way. Mm -hmm. So in this way, the project has been handed over to the Ministry of Agriculture at the end of the year 2013. Okay. Yeah. The thirdly is aquaculture project. Of course, uh, we are trying to expand the development of aquaculture industrial here in San Lucia, trying to increase the production of the fish and prawn as a high quality food and also as a, another a source of income for the farmers. The progress uh, at the moment are, uh, firstly, uh, we have established Union Agriculture Facility in, in San Lucia uh, to produce enough numbers of the baby prawn and baby fish for 
aquaculture purpose. Yeah. Secondly, yeah, uh, we have expanded the aquaculture uh, business here in St. Lucia. The project has ex extended uh, to the present uh, in total 67 uh, aquaculture farmers with a total pond area of uh, 17 hectares. So thirdly, yeah, through the increase of the farmers and the <coughs> expand of the pond area, of course, the production of the fish and prawn have been increased substantially here in St. Lucia. Okay. In we'll, last year. We'll, we'll, we'll that point, we, yeah. do, we are due for our first break. Okay. We'll be back soon. Yeah. You're watching Agriculture on the Move. We are due for our first break. Stay tuned. St. Lucia is blessed year-round with an abundance of fruits. But do you know that most of them go to waste? Here's an opportunity to invest either from a small to a large-scale agro-processing enterprise. You can contact the Ministry of Agriculture for further information. Welcome back to the program. Mr. Shaw, you were talking about the uh, aquaculture um, projects that you have had in St. Lucia. And I know aquaculture has been here from, again, you all were the ones who introduced it for, from, from many, many years ago. Yeah. And then you, now you all have, have, have been perfecting it, um, adding new breeds and everything. Could continue yeah. where you left off? Yeah, so I just mentioned the production of fish and prawn mm -hmm. has been increased substantially here in St. Lucia. In last year, St. Lucian farmers produced uh, 10 tons of uh, freshwater prawn and uh, 13 tons of tilapia, mm -hmm. so uh, which as compared to uh, only 71 kgs of uh, tilapia and uh, 194 kgs of uh, prawn. Mm -hmm. It's a big uh, <coughs> increase. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, with these joint efforts with our farmers, yeah, St. Lucia, I believe, have been become the leading country in the development of aquaculture production here in the Eastern Caribbean region. Yeah. So the, the, there's a new project that's coming on stream. Uh, that is the, the project with um, the extension demonstration plots. Yeah. You, you want to give an, a, a brief on, on, that, on that project before I go to meet to Tim? OK. Yeah. Uh, we know at the moment the banana industrial of St. Lucia is facing the needs for transformation. Mm -hmm. Yeah and uh, diversification play a very important role in the transformation of St. Lucian banana industries and uh, the <coughs> agriculture uh, sectors uh, also. So because the first phase of the fruit and uh, <coughs> vegetable demonstration and extension project is uh, very successful and achieved many uh, impressive uh, outcomes in promoting agricultural diversification. So the second phase of this project has been initiated, yeah, which is a three-year project. Yeah. Uh, this new project uh, will expand its services to uh, especially our banana farmers, <coughs> yeah, to work with our, our banana farmers in diversifying their crops into other potential and high-value uh, crops uh, with a view to uh, transform, transforming the banana industrial and also to increase those farmers' uh, revenues uh, and, uh, of course, the national uh, food production. Yes, and that's, a, of course, to bring down our food of import course. bill, which is yes. very, very, very high. Yes. And so yeah. it brings more money into the farmer's pocket by diversifying with bananas. Yes, yes, yes. yes. diversification. Tim, so now yeah. you are on the second phase of that project. Yes. All right? um, tell us how that project is going to be implemented. Yeah. Uh, because we have so successful at first one, so we're gonna copy the, the first one model to first two. To two. Yes, such as we, we also will organize some work, training workshop and also we will organize some uh, uh, farmer field school okay. at first two. And also, because we are targeting on, on banana <coughs> farmers, so we will establish about two demonstration plot, plot from, from farmer's field. Mm -hmm. So uh, other banana farmers can join to this, this group and see how it's going. And uh, we also 
will provide some high quality seedling to the, the, the banana farmers who are joining our this project. Okay. And we also provide some machinery service during this, this whole three years okay. to see how farmers and at the beginning they can uh, plow their land and how to prepare the land so farmer can um, follow up our, our procedure. Okay. Yes. So um, where are those two plots going to be established? Where? Uh, we will identify maybe region three mm -hmm. and four and the region seven. Okay. Yes. Okay. yes. So you are going to be training both the farmers mm -hmm. and officers. Yes. Uh, uh, explain how that's going to be done in terms of the, 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 the school, the, the farm school program. How, how is it going to be organized? Uh, we, we, will, we will cooperate with the extension, extension division. Yes, yeah, right. extension division to, to select the, the banana farmer and attend the, the fi fi uh, farmer field school. And uh, the farmer field school usually uh, three months in the period. Okay. So farmers come to he here once a week and just to see one crop how it's growing mm -hmm. until harvest. Mm -hmm. So they can learn, they can do the, the class lecture, do the open discussion. They can learn from all the farmers and from the, the extension officer, special from us. Okay. Yes, so, so it's very help, helpful to uh, the Sanusian farmers okay. through the, the farmer field school. But going back to the first, the first, um, the first program, the first phase, um, Mr. Shaw, mm -hmm. um, tell us exactly was it, how successful was it? And secondly, um, are you going to be using those same farmers to go into the second phase? How, how, how is that going to work out? No, it's not same farmers. Oh, yeah, the different farmers. Before, we are, we are helping the, the vegetable farmers. That's right. They are always grow vegetable, grow fruit. fruit. This time, we, are, we were focusing on, on those uh, banana farmers. Okay. Because ah, in San Lucia, maybe we have uh, nearly 1,000 uh, banana farmers. That's right. So we will select some. They are who are wants, wants to join this project, and we are training them to to vegetable. Yes, so, 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 so they're going to be diversifying yes. with the with the um, bananas. Yes, yeah. oh, okay, yeah. and it's for three years. Yes, okay. Um, inputs: Are you going to be giving the farmers seedlings, giving them um, um, fertilizers, chemicals? How is that going to work out? Yeah, at the beginning, because we want to encourage the farmers to join the, the, this project. So we will provide some good quality seeding to the farmers who are joining this project. Okay. And uh, we will help them to plow, prepare the land mm -hmm. at the beginning. Mm -hmm. So they can start working with vegetable. Okay. Yes, so, so because they, uh, banana and vegetable is totally different. Okay. So have, have you selected the sites yet or you are still waiting to work with the extension officers first? Have you select, selected where you're going to have the plot? Not yet. We still we still uh, discuss with the with, with the extension officer. Extension office. Officer. Yes. Okay. Because it's just beginning. We are we are working on it. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. And then the the seedlings mm -hmm. um, are, are they ready yet, or they will be ready in the future? Uh, we will do it step by step. Step by step. Yeah. To okay. see if farmer need it, we will pre start prepare the seedling. Okay. Great. And different time, we will prepare different different seedlings. seedlings. Yes. Oh, great. Great. Yes. Okay. Um, Mr. Shaw, I'll come back to you. I just want you to explain a bit the tissue culture lab, okay? Um, so far, do you think it has achieved its goals and, and objectives uh, in meeting what it was um, built for? Yes, yeah, I believe uh, <coughs> it has achieved its original uh, goal, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, firstly, uh, we have very successful technology transfer mm -hmm. to our local staff. Mm -hmm. So uh, <coughs> the local staff has fully uh, picked up the technology developed uh, particularly suitable to local uh, conditions. Correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, even after the transfer of the project, mm -hmm. the staff can fully uh, use uh, what, we have, uh, what they have learned from this project okay. to continue operate and uh, <coughs> produce the tissue culture plant led okay. for the development of the agriculture in St. Lucia. I know you all have introduced a lot of um, 
of your, of your own uh, um, crops. I know the wax apple was a, is a big thing in St. Lucia, which you all introduced of some years ago. Yeah. Um, everywhere you go, everybody has a, a wax apple tree in the backyard. Yeah. And now you all came with the, the dragon fruit. How is that working? Well, dragon fruit, uh, uh, why we choose dragon fruit? Because dragon fruit is a cactus plant. Yes. It's a very hardy, hardy. plant. And uh, because it is hardy, so you don't need to pay much attention to uh, take care of, to manage this plant. Okay. Yeah. And also, uh, this fruit, this plant is uh, <coughs> very easy. Uh, you can only use the organic compost yeah, to nourish it, mm -hmm. to bear very quality of fruit. Great, great, uh, great. Of course, the fruit itself has a very high quality. Yes. Uh, it's, uh, <coughs> it has a very high uh, nutritional level. Great. I think it's uh, good for the uh, health of our general public. Very and good. also the price yeah, yes, at, it's the, good. at the moment it on the market. Good. I think it's the highest fruits here in St. Lucia. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. that's why we encourage farmers to grow and produce more dragon fruit. Very yeah, good. It's healthy fruit. Great. Yeah. We are due for a second break. And when we come back, I'll speak with Ms. Um, Ambassador Mamouf concerning future projects in St. Lucia. You're watching Agriculture on the Move. Do for another break, back soon. Did you know that government provides duty-free incentives on farm machinery, inputs, irrigation systems, boat engines, boats, and many more? Investing in agriculture, a wise choice. Welcome back to the program, Agriculture on the Move. Ambassador Moore, there are other projects in St. Lucia that your mission is involved with in assisting St. Lucia in general uh, con as we move forward. Could you tell us a little more on those other projects? Thank you. Taiwan Technical Mission has achieved quite many things over the past years. And one thing we have done here also very successfully is the ICT cooperation program, mm -hmm. uh, information cooperation technology. And this part, we have two major projects in St. Lucia. First one is the e-document. We are helping some of the departments and ministries in your government to computerize their official document. So make it more efficient for civil servants to trace back and to manage their written documents. Mm -hmm. uh, in the Ministry of Finance, Education, and also the Public Service <coughs> Commission as well, in five different branches, we have successfully implement this project. Secondly, we have an ongoing project uh, which is starting 2015. That is the GI Net. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, this is a good project to going to set up in five constituencies first, 19 hotspots for the network mm -hmm. of the Wi-Fi mm -hmm. service. Then your people, the students, can use the public facilities to link their computers to the high net internet. Mm -hmm. And then that's how we can make the computer uh, more efficiently used. The internet can be widely accepted by the school that's and so right. by your uh, residents in different areas. Mm -hmm. Besides that, we keep doing the volunteers, uh, bringing the different uh, volunteers to serve, cooperate with your government, and also helping people. One we have already have here is the librarian management volunteers. Mm -hmm. Two good uh, uh, examples has been uh, uh, showed to your people here. And another uh, area we have uh, working with is the sport. Right. For the children uh, in school to learn how to play ping pong. Mm -hmm. That's a very good exercise. We have a good ping pong coach now here in St. Lucia. It's well received by your young students. Okay. In the future, this year, we'll have a, a new volunteer program coming into St. Lucia. It's a micro business management trainer. Uh, she is coming next month in October, and we're working with your <coughs> uh, Chamber of Commerce and also the Ministry of Commerce, uh, trying to uh, teach the vendors and also the small-sized uh, businessmen to do their business and based on Taiwan experience, right. uh, very successful experience for many years in Asia. Mm -hmm. So we hope that we can use some of our knowledge to share with yours and compare with your established uh, business as well. Mm -hmm. See how can we do things together. Okay. As you on that, I, I, I noticed that you're giving a lot of um, uh, uh, training 
to lots of solutions. Um, agriculture, um, is it, are you focusing on, uh, also on agriculture to train uh, um, students in agronomy and agriculture in Taiwan? We have very good uh, training program in Taiwan. The universities all have, many of them have very good uh, departments of agriculture science and training programs. Mm -hmm. So some of the St. Lucia young students now study in Taiwan for Taiwan scholarship sponsored uh, to learn how to do the agriculture mm -hmm. practice okay. in your country. I believe this is a new and very important dimension for the two countries' future cooperations, the young generation is coming up. Okay. So that's how also we want to have our trainer here to teach your youth, like the, the program in the Agriculture Ministry, YAP. Yes. 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 For that, we can uh, teach young farmers potential right. youth to learn how to do the growing of the fruit trees and vegetables in all the diversified categories. Oh, okay. yeah. Bring Great. them the opportunities. Great. Great. Mr. Shaw, um, the, I know in the aquaculture section, they have now upgraded to aquaponics. I, and I know that there is a, a little demonstration plot behind the fisheries. How is your, your, your mission uh, working in that regard? Um, <clears throat> at the moment, uh, uh, we try to evaluate yeah, the feasibility for aquaponics here in St. Lucia. Okay. I mean, feasibility is the, the, what kind of the model and what kind of the, 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 the scale, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, which is uh, most uh, suitable uh, to the local um, environment condition, so that uh, <clears throat> we can uh, extend, we can introduce uh, this type of uh, suitable models mm -hmm. to the local interested farmers. Okay, yeah. great. And if I find final words from you on the, your, um, what you would like to see happen, um, in your project, um, what, what sort of cooperation between the f farmers mm -hmm. and extension officers, what are you looking for? Uh, actually, this new project, we hope we can cooperate with extension officers to let banana farmers uh, increase their annual income, you know, at least 20%. Yes. Yes, we, we hope to see with extension. To office. increase it. Yes. Great. Yes. Very good. Very good. Yes. Finally, Ms. Ambassador, um, can you tell us a little more <coughs> on your, the projects for the technical cooperation between your Republic of China, Taiwan, and in, and in St. Lucia? Uh, as we mentioned, that the technical cooperation uh, take a very important position in the two-way relationship. Yes. And agriculture, of course, play a long-term a role in this uh, cooperation uh, dimension. In the future, we look forward. I think we want to accommodate our, our policies with the international principles for the future. You know, the United Nations has just announced the SDG last year. Mm -hmm. It's a new 15 years prospect for the 17 different items for all the countries uh, to co cooperate and work for each other. So in these 17 categories, uh, Taiwan want to work with the international society and to put our knowledge and efforts to the, our ally countries. That's our first priority. Okay. And St. Lucia is always our first priority okay. for the long-term cooperation. Okay. And by doing that, we want to keep the food safety and to keep supply uh, and knowledge of the diversification. And also, we hope we can shoot at the long-term economic mutual benefit cooperation Great. based on the food uh, and also the production of the agriculture. Thank you very much. Ambassador Mao, I'd like to thank you for being here on the program. And I wish you and your technical team in St. Lucia very well. And to continue that uh, cooperation with St. Lucia and of course, by extension, the agricultural sector. Mr. Sonny Shaw, thank you very much for being on the show, and I wish you success, as you have always been. And of course, Tim, thank you for being in St. Lucia, and I hope I, you get, you know, what the, to attain your objectives as far as extension farmer yes. demonstration relationship is concerned. Thank you again, gentlemen, thank you. for being here. You've been watching Agriculture on the Move. Thank you for viewing the program, and continue viewing the program. And remember, agriculture is our business, and eat fresh, St. Lucia's best. I am Philip Sidney. Goodbye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Dean. Thank you very much. Thank you. Agriculture on the move. Agriculture on the move. Agriculture on the move. Agriculture on the move.
Agriculture on the move. Agriculture on the move. Agriculture on the move. Agriculture on the move.